Follow along as we build a fitting tribute to the Land Rover Defender. This series is brought to you by LR Centre Limited and Frost Auto Restorers. As well as the help of SIP Industrial Products. Introducing our latest Land Rover t-shirt design, an ultra high quality comfortable cotton Kerry Green t-shirt with a hand screen printed Airfix Land Rover sprue design. Check it out at shop.funrover.com. Welcome back to the Defender Tribute build at Fun Rover TV. We've been working hard on many different components this week. The tub, we've been removing old wax oil from under there. There's lots of gummy layers of the stuff, so we're using an air-powered scraper, which is a fantastic tool to use for this job. It saves so much time. Also, we've repaired a common problem with the TD5. The injector loom. A common problem on the TD5 discoveries and defenders is oil ingression in the injector loom and then consequently it wicks all the way down to the ECU. Your ECU gets a small puddle of oil forming it and it can actually cause terminal failures for it. The way to repair this is obviously we'll flush the, the wiring out with some electrical contact cleaner. The ECU and ours, fortunately we got to the issue before it became a real problem and totally just fried the whole thing. Even though oil isn't conductive, somehow it causes issues in the ECU. Off camera, I've removed all the bolts for this and we'll replace the faulty loom where the seals have broken down so that we shouldn't get any more oil going along there. It's annoying because even if you put your ECU above your head, oil will still go there. It's coming out under pressure and just a small amount of pressure is enough to send it creeping up into the ECU itself. These plugs just clip off nice and easy. Obviously there's five of these, one for each cylinder. And ever so gently, I'm going to just prise this out, square. And yeah, you can see oil has been coming through there. Potentially it could happen again, but still a Let's clean out this hole and just carefully push that back into its location. Run this along the channel that it sits in and then reconnect it to each injector. They'll just click on nice and easy. Quite a quick job if you do have this. And then I can replace my rocker cover. Now, we had some suggestions online from our viewers on the forum. We should replace this coolant drain plug in the cylinder head. So that's what we've gone ahead and done. It's a very cheap component and it was worthwhile doing because the old one was very corroded and there's potential there for a leak to form in the future. So for the sake of the, the cost, we replaced it with this part number. And it's a very easy job just using a 12 millimeter Allen key we can undo the whole lot. Also another suggestion was to replace the oil cooler block inside this assembly. So I had to remove the centrifugal oil rotor housing and then this component can come off. As you can see the oil cooler is rather corroded internally and also the oil cooler itself. So to take that out you remove these two banjo bolts and as you see the drilled to allow the cross flow of oil and remove the oil cooler itself pretty corroded not worth having in place in case it breaks down in the future and oil gets into the coolant or vice versa so i've cleaned up the gasket surfaces dropped in the new one put in some new bolts with the correct washers which are rubberized underneath at the same time i replaced the two gaskets on the downpipe from the sump to the rotor oil filter housing there's just two gaskets there, so I took those out, cleaned up the surfaces and replaced them. And I'm putting the power steering pump into place. So I've reconditioned that and it's a nice, easy job once again just to put on this bracket that fixes it to the water coolant housing. And then once that's secured in place, you align the teeth on the back, fit it into place, 
bolt that down. The pulley, that's had a lick of paint. Put the pulley into place. And I'm using brand new Land Rover Genuine bolts for this, which were rather expensive. Came in a bag of ten, so I had some left over from another job. And there you go, that's the power steering pump in place looking rather smart. Next we'll fit the stainless steel exhaust. It's a straight through apart from the rear silencer. All you have to do is fix it to the turbo, put on the required exhaust mounts and then all you have to do after that is slip over the rubbers onto the exhaust and also onto the mounts and it's secured into place. The rear silencer pipe, you do have to kind of twist and rotate that to get it to fit. Not particularly difficult. And that's our exhaust more or less bolted into place. You just need to snug it down and there's two bolts between the down pipe and the mid pipe that we need to sort out. Should sound really good once the vehicle is running a really throaty sound with the TD5 engine on an almost straight through exhaust. Now I have to do some repairing to the bulkhead and I'm using the fantastic Hobbyweld 5 gas which is perfect for thin sheet metal. It gives us a really good weld and I'm no professional welder but I've enjoyed using this gas. It's a nice shielding gas to use. As you can see the bulkhead is in not too bad condition. There's a few questionable areas. So what I've gone ahead and done, I've marked out the areas I want to remove. Then just using the air cut off disc, we've removed them getting back to good sound metal and just fracturing that repair piece out so I need to clean up those edges with the grinder and I've also flapper wheeled the outer edges to give me a, a cleaner area to weld to creating a cardboard template for the repair section I need to make cut that out of sheet metal folded it with the metal sheet metal folder which is a nice little tool to have and the repair piece fits perfectly which is brilliant so the welding is a lot easier then I tack welded it every inch or so to try and stop the thin sheet metal from deforming and then went round filled in the areas randomly again to try and stop warping but the welds come out quite nicely I'm rather happy with that bit of grinding it can go to the galvanizers I hope you enjoyed that episode of Fun Rover TV and our Defender tribute build come back next week where you can see how we've been progressing. You can see our last episode here and also check us out on funrover.com. We are at funrover on Twitter and Instagram and we're also on Facebook.